All right, everybody, welcome back to Minecraft, but this time it's impossible. What we've gotten ourselves into here today is we're playing this server plugin that was developed by another YouTube man dude. He goes by Fundy. I'll link his video in the description. This plugin is supposed to make the game impossible. That's the idea. I've forgotten all the things that this does. It's a whole lot of them and it's just gonna make us suffer and make it really difficult to play. And I'm sure if I hit this cow, something terrible is gonna happen to me. I know it hurts me if I punch trees because I get, I make sense, right? If you punch a tree in real life, it probably doesn't feel very good on your knuckles. I've never tried it. I also wouldn't recommend you do it, but I imagine if you were, it would probably hurt. You know, this is actually the second iteration of impossible that he's done. It's called impossible plus plus because I guess the first one wasn't difficult enough. People beat it. I think some people have already beaten this one, but I had a lot of people in live stream chat saying I should try it out. So, all right, let's make some tools. It's only at least the first hit, you know, so the first hit hurts, but then your skin just immediately toughens up and you're, you're good to go. It's fine. Actually, that one didn't hurt. Thank you very much. Now, because this is a server-only plugin, you can't do it in single player, so big shout out to our sponsor, MC Pro Hosting, providing this server that we're playing on, and if you want to give this a try yourself, again, check out the link in the description to his video. You can get the plugin there, and then you can install it on a server at mcprohosting.com slash captainsparkles, should you happen to be interested in doing something like that. Anywho, I guess, uh, I guess it was only hurting me on the first try. I hardened up. I grew some calluses. I do know there's another thing where if you eat too much food, you get slow. So that's also, you know, it's just, it's, it's great all around, as well as like ravagers spawn when you breed chickens and just a whole bunch of good stuff. Water just like instantly unalives you, I'm pretty sure, if you stop being able to breathe and the bubbles just whoop, they're gone. That's a whole thing that seems like really fun. So um, we'll be experiencing it all as we go. And I'm sure it, it won't go terribly for us at all. I've been doing some Minecraft speedrun attempts over on my Twitch channel. Yeah, so it, it hurts when you try to punch rocks. That makes sense. I don't advise punching rocks. It's, that's an unwise decision as well. But anyway, I've been trying some speedruns over on my Twitch channel. I'm terrible at it. Really am. But, you know, practice makes perfect, right? And so, uh... This is, I should be really, I should be able to zoom through these early stages here. Let me tell you, I've been getting real good at making stone tools. I mean, super incredible, actually. The likes of which the world has never seen as I misclick on numerous occasions getting things put down properly. But yeah, I mean, I'm I'm kind of legendary in the speedrunning community now. Um, all right, Mr. Cow, really sorry to do this to you, but also I might get hurt. I'm really scared. I don't remember all the aspects of impossible Minecraft. Apparently I can, okay, I can do that. Our goal here, we're gonna try to beat the Ender Dragon. I don't know if the impossibleness uh, does bad things to the Ender Dragon, but it's also, a, it's a very distinct possibility that it's, it might kind of suck. So, um, we'll be on the lookout. We'll be on the lookout. We could run into a Ravager at any second though. I just want to throw that out there. Um, so... Let me just grab some food off of this and also eat you out of here. Yeah, that, that'll be that'll be fun. Just running into a random ravager that's spawned in the middle of a group of chickens because that's how it works with this. It's just, hey, you, you were expecting chickens? Nah. You know, chickens give birth to ravagers now. I mean, it, the biology is a little bit hard to explain. Not sure how the... How it, fits it's, it's it it spawns full size there are no baby ravagers so yeah i don't i'll be honest this place kind of sucks for any wildlife at all although i don't know that that might be part of the whole impossible thing you want to see how much uh how quickly your water goes down or your air goes down look at that look at that and as soon as it, oh as soon as it reaches zero you're gone you you have no lifeline there's no like oh you'll start you know Taking a bit of damage at, at a time. No, no, you just insta. And I almost, almost did it to myself there, which would have been yeah, kind of uh, embarrassing. But hey, for the content, right? I could really use some food. I still haven't run into anything else. But yeah, if I if I run too much, I just slipped on some moss right before I resumed the recording. Is that a village I spy back there? Have we finally exited the Mega Tiger? Thank goodness, dude. 
All right. Hey, this is why I made a hoe. We're gonna be so good on food for so long, dude. If actually, if I angered the golem, I bet you I would just get like thrown to the moon or something. Oh, okay. So my pickaxe just broke. That's another wonderfully delightful feature of this mod pack is that at any point, your your tools can just break. So the the cool part about that is that you could be in the middle of a fight with the Ender Dragon. And your sword might just decide, I give up. Oh, right. We're playing on 1.15. I forgot. Hose have no effect here. They're meaningless. Dang it, dude. I was just thinking about my speed runs. You feel well rested, but hungry. Oh, great. I mean that you do wake up hungry sometimes. This morning, in fact, I I did wake up hungry. So it's realistic. Hey, can we can we get some bread there? There we go. Thank you very much. Um... And watch, watch this. I'm gonna eat it up all the way. I'm gonna eat it up all the way, and it's gonna be you ate too much. Here we go. You ate too much. I'm slow. You ask for one thing, I do it, and you're like, nah, you did too much. It's not what I, moderation. Frick, dude. All I want is for hose to work like they do in 1.16, but this is made for 1.15, so. Oh, oh, this is another ravine. How convenient. How convenient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Ow, I tripped on a twig. So I guess the ideal scenario here, though, is like we just... We eat until we're almost full. But not too full, which is a good way to live your life, actually. What we're, we're learning here is real life tips from Minecraft. It's just trying to... Excuse me, but I don't think that's how this works at all. I'm just wondering if I should maybe not carry all of my food with me when I go into the mine because I'm kind of forgetting what all the different diabolical things are that are going to happen when I'm down there. We're leaving it as a surprise, though. This, but but I might lose everything. And then I'm going to be like, oh, I wish I still had that bread on me. Hmm. Let's see if we can get this man's a stick trade, huh? Hey, man. Well, well stick trade? I, or is that always tier two? Stick trades might be a tier two thing. No, no, there we go. Brilliant. I'll tell you, I can I can make that happen. Hey, Nate, give me that, dude. Give me some give me some arrows over here. That'll probably actually help in keeping me a bit safer. Thanks, man. I used to be a pig, but there is a pig over there. So it's the rule isn't like all pigs get unalived. <laughs> Just some of them, something like that. Let's make this house our home. Just for the time being. There's no need to speed run things. We can we can take our time, dude. Make another crafting table. There's no rush to go get ourselves unalived in the mines. That would be rash and completely unnecessary to do. We'll make a chest here and then we'll store some of our bread. Like all we need to do is take 32 down. The rest of this stuff can kind of just chill. It's so peaceful. It's so easy so far, dude. Impossible plus plus. That was another thing, wasn't it? That all creepers are charged creepers, and they don't have a fuse, they just explode immediately. That's the that's the point in the video where I was watching, and I was like, oh, this might be difficult. <laughs> Maybe the nether is a safer place. I didn't even get to the part where he covered the nether in the video about this. I just, I wanted to leave it a mystery, okay? Can you, I tripped on a rock inside my own house? This is why you take off your shoes, people. There should be a shoe removal option in Minecraft, because who the heck would wear shoes inside their own house? Just absolute dirtiness, okay? You the people who get mad, like, ew, I don't want to have my bare feet touching the ground inside my house. We'll get cleaner floors or something. Jeez, dude. Nether might be a better way to progress. Feeling very comfortable in the nether these days, other than the part where I just have absolutely no hope of finding a fortress. But other than that terrible tragedy, like, I, I feel pretty comfortable in the nether. I'm just trying to delay the part where I encounter a creeper. That's all. Here we go! You're... you have full iron armor. That's good. That's... ow. That hurt. A little bit. Ow, that hurt a little bit. This is not good. Okay, that took a lot of hits. Like, way more than I, I would... I ate too much. That's gonna be great when I'm trying to run away from a charged creeper. Real great. Is there an Andy man? Can't remember if anything terrifying happens with them, but oh! 
You know what? I should smelt this. No, oh God, oh geez, oh geez, oh geez, boys, it's not good. This is a hard armor, that's the big armor. Oh my goodness, wait, 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 I'm gonna need to get some armor up in here, just kidding. Ooh, you don't see me. Mm, nope, nope, no, this is a problem. This is problem, this big problem, oh God, Jesus Christ. I survived my first encounter with a charged creeper. Okay, all right, so, okay. I was just, you know, RNG had it out for me there. You, the creeper could have gone in any direction from over there, but it was like, no, I'm gonna come over here. Okay, so here's the thing. If I, <gasps> dude, what the hell is this, dude? What was that? That's stupid. The heck is that trash? Are you kidding me? I didn't even have a- I couldn't even react, it was just like... freaking balls and flaming arrows! Are you kidding? Oh, that's bad! This is bad, dude! Things are going real smooth at first! I should- yeah, I should make some tools. Thanks, thanks for reminding me. I can't believe I didn't think of that earlier, huh? Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, now it's hurting me every single time, huh? Oh, yeah, okay. In the beginning, I got some calluses. Now, apparently, sleeping has just worn my calluses right off. That's how it works. Okay, I need to leave some spare wood and tools. Bro, all my stuff is gonna unalive again. How do I get back down without demonetizing? I need to retrieve my stuff and regroup. Help! You better be afraid, monsters. I got that beginning of Hunger Games gear equipment right now. My home setup has to have a lot of spare gear. I'm gonna eat too much now, of course. Okay, here is deal. Uh, uh, skeleton, I need you to not to be there, okay? All right, great, okay. Okay, this is gonna be fine. It's not been five minutes yet. There's probably gonna be another charged creeper down there, and and it's gonna be bad. Everything is is gonna suck. And okay, we gotta just go. We gotta just go. Oh no, like this, but freaking Iron Boy! No, no Iron Man. No, no Iron Boy. Freaking balls! Frick off! Jeez. Is every zombie a baby zombie? That's my question. All right, all right, all right, you little mother trucker. You little mother trucker, you. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna seal the gate, seal the gate, seal the gate. Okay, everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine, as long as I pick it up. And then don't get exploded. Everything's good, everything's great. I'm good, I'm here, I'm out here, and everything is good, and it didn't despawn. It's another freaking baby zombie, dude. It's a baby abomination. No hitboxes. Hitboxes don't fail me. No, god damn it! No, 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 no. I tell you not to do. I tell you not to. I say no. I say no, don't do that. Oh help me. Oh help. Safe. I can beat this. I can beat you with my fist. God, I'm good. God, I'm so good. I got this, I got this, I got this. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh god. Please no charge creeper. Please no charge creeper. Please no charge creeper. Okay, 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 okay. We're okay, we're okay. <laughs> oh, not again! No, are you kidding? He's still there! He didn't get blown up by the charge creeper. I don't have it in my inventory, I got it. There's a freaking skeleton! Oh, no, no, God, help! Help! Shoot! This is the sunk cost fallacy here, where I've created all this gear, and I, I don't want to lose it. So I'm still huh. trying to get it back when I should probably... Just start over. This is this is it. We're really going ham now, dude. I bet all the freaking dudes are still there. I bet I bet they're all there. But the whole gang is still. And also, it's just a oh, you little trash can. Oh, dude, I hear so many of them. Is the entire universe just baby zombies, bro? Me thinking I can go into <gasps> not like this, you fool! Oh, freaking! That's it. That place is a loss. That's a loss. You don't feel tired yet. I do feel tired. I feel extremely tired of everything that's currently happening, okay? It's terrible. I don't want to... Why did I say that? I want to make bread. I'm distracted by a lot of things. At least I have a lot of food. I'm gonna live a peaceful life above ground. Where I... Where I mine trees. Where I... Freaking... I don't know, man. Don't... Oh my goodness. Hello? Hello, world? 
Uh, okay, what's wrong with spiders? Is Are they zoomy boys? I need a bow. I could use a bow. He's a freaking zoomy boy. Do you see him zooming? Unacceptable. I need better gear before I can freaking face this man's. I need better gear. I can't handle it. Oh my god! He's so fast. Why did you make it like this? Also, charged creeper over there. Can we just do a thing where we reset? Why are you upset, dude? It's freaking daytime! Frick off! Frick off! You freaking frick! It's like a. It's a. God! I cannot believe I've lost everything. I'm staying above ground, dude. Underground sucks. <laughs> Who would go there? It's a mistake. Caves were a mistake. Is there something down. If there's something down there, I don't want it. The only way to mine in this is to do just stare down and we got to make a whole storage inventory so we can just keep stock. That's what we got to spend this episode on is just getting everything set so that when we do inevitably unalive, we can make view all of my cobblestone just go into this. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's fine. There's nothing to be angry about. It is great. It's great. More iron, dude. Wow, it's all turning up. Good right now. I get some more wood, I can trade for more arrows, and then all I have to do is find an underground mine shaft, which is gonna suck, and we're not gonna wanna deal with that. Or alternatively, I could wait until more spiders appear above ground and do bad things to me. I didn't eat too much. Stop telling me I ate too much. I ate just the right amount. How dare you? Hey man, this this world, this place is rough, isn't it? I'm sorry you had to be born here, but we'll get through this together. I hope surface lava, that might be the way to go when it comes to getting to the nether, because uh, otherwise I have to mine underground and I might end up in an open cavern, especially if I'm gonna fi find lava. And that's not what we wanna be dealing with. Let's see if we can find some surface lava. Well, that'd be pretty cool, right? Or more iron, actually there was more iron kind of at the top of the, uh, so that's why I used to be a pig. So as soon as I get close to the pig, it vanishes, yeah? <laughs> that's nice. Over here, yeah. Okay, tripping on rum. Um, these poor pigs. That looks good for me, and it looks relatively safe to access, yeah? Yes. Okay, go over here. And get it. As long as it... Ew. Actual. I'm, like, at a loss. I don't even know what I should be making here. Uh, a chest plate... Maybe some slight protection, an iron sword. Yeah, we'll we'll do that. I've gotten really lucky though, not running into a ravager spawning in the middle of a chicken cluster. What are you doing out here? Excuse excuse me. What? Hello? How did? How did you? How did you? There's a service lava pool. Oh, dude, this is how we're gonna get to the Nether. <laughs> Screw going underground. I don't really care about doing that. This is where it's at. Finally, luck is on our side, dude. This would have been great for a speed run, if not for every other terrible thing that's happened to us so far. Poor pigs. Really drawing the short end here. String would be ideal before going in. It'd be great if I had a bow, because I I don't know what we're about to be facing, but at the same time, I'm kind of just I'm just ready to just ready to be out of here. You know, I decided that even if I don't have string to make a bow, I can still snag some arrows in the meantime, because why not? And then maybe I could find, I'm trying to think, we're in 1.15, so obviously we're not going to have the ability to get a crossbow from piglins or striders for string or get string directly from trading with a piglin because they don't exist. But I'm trying to remember if there's any other way that we might be able to actually get... Uh, string in the nether. I'm just gonna get a bunch of arrows in case. I'll take some through and then we'll also save the rest back at home So that we'll have the ability to snag some if and when we need it and I'll grab some gravel and uh, I guess smelt the iron and, and be out here. Sorry. I haven't made a lot of progress man. Life's rough, but I'll get there. I'm thinking pants and then maybe a pickaxe Yeah, right right pickaxe good idea no iron axe yet, and then maybe I'll just leave the others in case my iron pickaxe breaks, because it's pretty likely it's going to. And then we'll go into the nether with actually a lot more gear than I'd usually have if I was doing a speedrun. And I say speedrun with a grain of salt, because my speedruns aren't very speedy, but usually I go into the nether with either I'm naked or just gold boots or something like that. 
So this is a lot more, but also impossible. Okay, here we go, everyone. It's I, I feel like the nether is gonna be safer. It's gonna be it has to be. There's no way that it couldn't. Are you guys ready for my ultimate speedrunning? I don't know if you are. Good thing I didn't make other stuff with iron because I almost forgot. Definitely need a bucket. That's kind of an important point to this whole thing. So watch this, dude. I've gotten real good as long as the lava doesn't bug out on me, which actually happens every now and again. And that's just a whole thing, but... I wish you wouldn't do that. It takes way longer than it has to when when you do things like that. Never mind, we're not gonna do we're not gonna go down there. We're gonna just uh that's gonna be where it is. Okay, see then you dig over here. You don't need corners. You don't need corners, it's completely unnecessary. Up there, up another, and then up one more in. You go over here and you go up two, three, and four, then in and up, and then up, and then like that, and then you put the water up there. And then you can get yourself a full break-in portal, and it's pretty cool. It's easier when it's underground, because you can obviously just kind of mine the template out. But, anyway. Alright, there we go. Sometimes I place down the lava, and it just kind of glitches out and doesn't go. Which is kind of weird, but hopefully that won't be the case here. We'll go one higher than it needs to be. Why not? It'll be a portal without corners, but really, really tall. Well, I guess it's gonna have top corners. I'm sorry, everyone. I've, I've failed you. We better restart this entire video, because this thing has corners. And I'm not gonna... See, that happens sometimes, and I, I don't fully understand why. You just put down the lava, and it's like, I'm gone now. All right. Sorry, I did that. I really, I really screwed that one up. Will you ever forgive me for making a portal with corners? Super sorry. Only mildly concerned with what is on the other side here. Only, only a little worried. Surely it's not gonna be awful. You're boiling in your armor. Oh, what are our coordinates? We're at 44, negative 70. So do I just, do I just take it? Do I just, okay, it's still happening. Uh, that's great, that's okay. All right, thank you. So I have to be, I have to be naked. I ate too much. I think I tripped on a twig as well, which is good. So shields are gonna be pretty crucial. That's fine, dude. I've collected blaze rods without any armor before. Well, actually, that's false. I had some gold armor, but that doesn't matter because we're in 1.15. So everything's going to turn out fine. As long as I don't accidentally punch a pig man, it'll be, it'll be great. Oh, no, they're... They're instantly hostile. They're instantly hostile. Of course they are. No, of course. I mean, why wouldn't they be? No, that that does that makes that makes a great deal of sense. Why would? But it's fine. We're gonna be able to run back and we're gonna get our stuff because at least this time it's pretty out in the open, and they're melee, and we don't have to worry about skeletons shooting at us. And maybe I should relocate my stuff over to here because uh, this sucks. A friendly little lizard here. It's all good. You don't need to worry. I'm not here to intrude or anything. Take your valuables. No, I would never do that. And then, and then shield. At least their aggro range seems short, right? It could be worse. Let's, I'm just, I'm gonna take a nice little survey of the surrounding area. No, 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 Although, knowing my luck from my last few streams, it's gonna be at least like 600 blocks away. All right, all right, all right. As long as we stay sort of away from them and we're vigilant and we don't slow ourselves down too much by overeating, everything's great. A little scared to go down that way, but I gotta have to. That's fine, that's fine. I can I can build ourselves up here. What rocks? I have to thread this needle. We're gonna have to thread it. We're gonna have to thread it. We're gonna have to thread this freaking needle. Okay. All right, you guys. All right, you guys. And we are up. <laughs> Get wrecked, losers. Impossible. Plus, plus. 
more like impossible wuss wuss <laughs> think you can keep me from reaching a fortress only terrain generation can stop me from reaching a fortress I'm never gonna find one never in a million years all right and also i should say this ain't this ain't a let's play we're not here to get comfortable we're not here to build a house settle down raise a family we're here to get out as quickly as we possibly can no bad guest bad guest don't do watch i bet something that this man's did is that he like he made it so that you just don't get fortresses just don't generate it's like, wouldn't it be funny if if i made it so that that was a thing bro how are there no fortresses anywhere I mean, it's absurd. Nope, 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 nope. You do not. Thank you. Thank you. Aggro range, small. Oh my god. I bet there's a fortress like two feet in the other direction of where our portal is. But none. Nothing. Ridiculous. <laughs> it's just nothing. I'm pro Am I going to have to run back to my portal? And just go the other direction? The way I feel with running around the nether always is that there must be a fortress that's just like a chunk out of rendered distance in whatever the opposite direction of, of where I decided to go. It just has to be that way. At least we've got a continuous bit of land. How far have I run so far? I, I mean about 600 blocks and we're still out of luck. Okay, alright guys. All right, we really gotta thread some needleage here, cause if I if I go down he out here, we're really out in the boonies, and I'm gonna be in trouble. That's gonna be a it's gonna be total loss if we go down here, and obviously not wearing armor, so I don't really feel comfortable going much further. Cause if I go down, I I am gonna. Oh no 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 no! You see, here's where here's what we can't be having. Here's what we can't be having. You with your mile long aggro range. No, wait, they're all mad now? Why are they all mad? Why have they just, just suddenly, they've changed their tune. Guys, they've changed their tune. This is bad. We're going to go the other way. Baby piglins are the worst. We need to go. We need to never be near them. They are bad news. For our health, for everything. I'm going back to the portal. Oh, God. And you know what the really, really, really scary thing is? I can't even pause to think. Because we're on a server. The only way is to combat log, basically. I went from here. That's where I... Where did I come from? A question I often ask myself. Is I over here? Oh god, I don't even know if I'm heading the right way anymore. Hopefully this will sort of take us back. I thought they came from over there, but... Oh my god, he's still chasing us! This is like a dream sequence right now. That this man's is always watching and always trying to take us down. Oh god, please no. I think I came from over this. Oh god. Oh no 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 no. They're all mad. They're all upset. Every single one of them is very upset and I don't like. Oh no. No 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 no. Do not do not chase. Do not chase. Oh god, thread needles, thread needles left and right. Oh god. All right. Oh jeez. I swear to god if the baby pigman is still on us, I don't even know what to do with myself. Oh, man, there's got to be a fortress somewhere, dude! And then we'll be- then we'll be halfway to getting to the end. And then I don't even want to know what happens when we go to the end. It's gonna be a mess. But at least I can slowly chip away at the dragon's health. Right? Just very, very, ever so slowly. Don't even have time to look at coordinates. Am I going the right direction? I have no idea. Oh, maybe it was- maybe- oh, yeah, 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 I think I built up. Thank you. Thank you. Nice dirt trail. Showing me the way. Who needs armor, dude? Armor in Minecraft? It's ridiculous. You'd have to handicap yourself so much, bro. Here we go. Other side. I don't know if I want to go this way. Is it open? It is. A, it is pretty open. Maybe this will lead to a fortress that we need. I'll tell you what. If this were a uh, quote-unquote speedrun world, I would have abandoned it by now. And I'm slow. <laughs> Not slow if I sprint jump. You ever get a stomach cramp after you've eaten too much food? All you have to do is run and jump faster, and then it'll totally go- Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, don't touch me! Wait, 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 this is gonna be fine, this is gonna be fine, get a little bit more regen, we're good. 
Oh, we got like a wall. We, I gotta, I gotta break through like an NFL wall of linebackers right here. Oh, we juked him hard, dude. Oh god, wrong way, wrong wait, wrong, wrong path. Have I gone the wrong way? I think I've gone the wrong way. I think I've made a mistake, and everything hates me now. That's real bad. That's real bad. Which way am I? I needed to go up there. All right, guys. All right. All right. We've got a situation on our hands. Oh boy, get angry at the ghast. He's the one who's he's the one you should be mad at. And we flip it around. Uh whoa, no, don't slip on moss, dude. There's no moss in the nether. It's not real. It's fake. Up, up, up. You can't follow. You can't follow. Too fast for y'all. It's actually it's actually pretty close. I was right by the portal and I didn't even realize. Oh, yeah, 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 it was right there. I was right there. Oh my god, and all my stuff hasn't fallen. I did not realize it was so close to my portal. And at least not everything burned. Oh, stop slipping on moss, you fool! Oh my god, okay, hey, we got it, dude. We freaking got some of it. Shield is good. Uh, we lost our iron sword. Not great. Not great at all. But um, I'll tell you what, at least I was I was pretty much at the portal when it happened. We're gonna head in another direction from the portal. Is that what I'm seeing? Is it, is it ghasts or invisible? Because honestly, it's kind of looking like that. That's, oh my god, ghasts are invisible. They're literally invisible. That's cool. I've decided I'm gonna be an idiot and I'm gonna attempt to cross this lava lake because why wouldn't I do that? In collecting the netherrack, I've already been through three pickaxes, my iron one included, which is obviously uh, great. You know, it's... <laughs> What I was hoping for, um, but it's fine. We'll just keep making stone ones because that's all you need anyway, right? I bet we could beat the Ender Dragon with some stone gear only. Probably could actually, it would just take a lot longer. But you know, you smack it in the head from the fountain, you're good to go. The only thing that could go terribly wrong here is if one of those good old invisible ghasts that we all love decides that it wants to show up. I hear it. I hear it too, and that's the part that really sucks. I'm gonna do it. I, you know, I should. I should actually. What I should do. What I should do is I should make a chest over here, and that way, if everything goes south, I can I can get some stuff back, and all I will have lost is the nether rack. God, we're gonna be smart boys about this thing. Here we go, and then watch a bunch of freaking mobs are gonna spawn, or a bunch of pigmen are gonna spawn around here. Even do that, yes. That's my last thing of usable iron right there in the nether. Whew. Okay. Everything's good, everything's great, everything's great. Just don't look up, don't look anywhere else. If you don't look at it, it doesn't exist, says the man to the invisible ghasts. All right, we're just going across, we're just going across. We're just going across. And then there was another area that had like a, I think it was over there, there's a, a middle island that I could like connect it across here from, but at the same time, kind of concerned that because there are probably pigmen on there, uh, they're gonna attack me as soon as I start building the bridge, and then it's gonna suck. So that's why I elected not to do that. Hey, we've almost made it across. Okay, we're almost there. I should probably just not. Don't look. Just don't look, because then that's when the ghast is gonna spawn. That's when we're gonna get hurt. I don't want to be hurt. Oh my god, I made it. All right, hey, this is great. Okay, now we'll just run it back, grab some gear, and then as I'm thinking I'm safe, and hmm, God, of course, you would you would do that. That's how you do it, that's how you do it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go, 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 go. Just freaking go here, and you just grab this stuff, and grab a little bit more bread, grab a bit more bread, grab that, and we, we need that, and we are out here. We're out here, we're good. We're going, we're going, we're going. I swear to God, if a pigman spawns on the bridge, it's gonna be the end of me. Don't do me like that. Okay, he's right there. He's right there, but that's fine. That's fine. We're all good. Okay, everything's fine. Everything's good. Don't tell me this is an isolated island. It is a fairly isolated place, <laughs> but I can definitely mine kind of around, and I'm not aggroed yet, so this is good. You know what? If I do this, though, then I can't be reached by the pigmen, and we'll be fine. And then we can just, we have, we have the tools. We can build this. <laughs> okay, they won't break on us. It's gonna, we're gonna go through like five pickaxes just trying to mine to get over to where we're going for right here. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. 
We found one. Oh, thank goodness. I really am not looking forward to finding out what has been made difficult in here. Because I have a feeling it's not going to be a standard fortress. Oh, God. Okay. Well, until next time, though, this is where we're going to leave things off on a little bit of a cliffhanger. No, I slipped on some moss. Ah, uh, of course, in the nether. I'm not going to go watch more of the video and find out what surprises lie in store. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna experience it as it happened. So anyway, thank you for watching episode one of Minecraft, but it's impossible. Look at me. This is what you wear in the nether. Super awesome gear, dude. Anyway, make sure to like if you liked. Check out our sponsor, MC Pro Hosting at mcprohosting.com slash Captain Sparkles if you want to snag a server for 25% off your first month of hosting so that you too might be able to give this a try if you really want to suffer yourself. Oh, who am I kidding? You guys will beat it in like two seconds and then be like, Jardon, why are you so bad? <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. Playlist in the description in case there are more episodes up by now if you're watching in the future and you want to jump right into those. Subscribe if you're not already and hit the bell if you are. I'll see you next time. Bye.